Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center. This is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon and welcome to 22 News at 4. I'm Ciara Speller. We're going to get to your top stories at 4 in just a moment. But first, we have a look at your commuter traffic and weather. We have Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team here. Jack, hot, hot, hot oh, out there. Oh, definitely. And unfortunately, we're not expecting this trend to end until the end of the work week. So when you are in the car, make sure you have that AC blasting before you get in. Let's take a look at our traffic. We're seeing business as usual for the most part. We have our typical traffic spots mainly on Route 5 near West, Fe West Springfield and Holyoke. That area is still under construction, as well as Mass Pike near Palmer, also seeing some construction over there. So you could expect some delays, as well as Mass Pike going westbound just past Westfield on your way to Blanford. You're going to be seeing a little bit of traffic there, but overall it is pretty clear at the moment. Let's take a look at our live camera to see all of that heat. West uh, Springfield live camera, excuse me, a little bit of a haze in the distance as there are a couple alerts out at the moment. That hence why the 22 new storm team has issued a weather alert. Now there is a heat advisory in place. This is going to go from now until Friday. This affects all of Western Massachusetts. The heat index could make it feel anywhere near 100 degrees, if not warmer. Heat index basically meaning uh, temperature plus humidity and some other factors to make it uh, to let you know what it really feels like outside. There is also an air quality alert in effect until 11 p.m. this evening. That's going to be in eastern parts of Hampshire and Hamden County, and this is going to be unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups, so just make sure you're prepared before you go outside. Temperatures now, we're still sitting in the 90s at the moment, mainly low 90s, up and down 91. 93 is the highlight at the moment in Westfield. Berkshire County seeing very similar temperatures. North Adams a little cooler with a high of 86 at the moment, but we're expecting these warm temperatures to stick around for a bit. Clouds and radar is showing us that we do have a potential for some scattered thunderstorms in the picture, and we'll give you a better look at that in just a moment with the 22 News Storm Team Skycast. All right, Jack, thank you. We have new information on yesterday's murder suicide in Wilbraham. The names of those victims have been released. Now, according to the Hamden District Attorney's Office, the victims have been identified as 56 year old Peter Donaldson, 56 year old Seema Pariso, and 27 year old Dylan Pariso. Yesterday morning, police responded to a well being check in Wilbraham where they found Donaldson dead in the living room with a self inflicted gunshot wound. Seema and her son Dylan were also found dead in the basement with gunshot wounds. Seema was in a relationship with Peter at the time. Wilbraham Police and the District Attorney's Office are still investigating this incident. And water has been restored after a massive water main break in Holyoke this morning. According to Holyoke Waterworks, the break happened in high service distribution zone, which is marked by silver topped fire hydrants. The break caused discolored water in a large portion of the city. Crews worked through the heat to repair the damage. Waterworks left a hydrant open to circulate water in the area. Today is the federal holiday Juneteenth and people across the country are celebrating what some call our country's second Independence Day back in 1865. It was on this day when Union troops finally reached the westernmost Confederate state of Texas and announced that more than 250,000 people still working as slaves had been freed by Emancipation Proclamation nearly two years earlier. Now the day is marked as Juneteenth, a celebration of the liberation of black Americans. A Berkshire County investigation continued in Lanesboro yesterday as police searched for the remains of two children who were killed over 30 years ago. The children were victims of Lewis Lent, who is serving life in prison for abduction and murder. Yesterday's investigation found no additional evidence and police have previously searched the same area in the past. The remains of two of the victims have never been found. All right, we're going to check back in now with Jack Wu. Like I said, hot temperatures out there. If people have to be out and about, definitely be careful. Oh, definitely want to be hydrated and definitely want that sunscreen, but maybe even your rain jacket. We are expecting a potential scattered thunderstorm. Let's take a look at the 22 News Storm Team Skycast 7 p.m. this evening. Seeing some potential for some scattered thunderstorms, mainly in the Franklin County area or if you're near the state line with Vermont or New Hampshire. As we go on through the evening, we do see to tend those break up right around 
12 a.m. Right around, right around 10 p.m. Excuse me, Wednesday evening. Now going into the early morning hours on Thursday, 6 a.m. Thursday morning, we are seeing that cloud cover hanging around, not expecting any rain during the morning hours, but getting into the afternoon is a bit of a different story. We've been seeing this trend right around 3 p.m. on Thursday. Again, more northern areas near Franklin County or in Ham Hampshire County, potentially seeing that potential for a scattered thunderstorm or shower. Now this goes on through the through the afternoon afternoon hours right before the evening, right around 7 p.m. Thursday e evening. And we'll be tracking this throughout the, our 22 News Storm Team forecast on 22 News at 5. Amazon has been fined around $5.9 million for alleged quota violations at two of its California warehouses. The state's labor commissioner's office said the company violated a 2022 law requiring employers to notify workers of any quotas they need to follow. The office said it found over 59,000 violations for the two warehouses between October 2023 and March of this year. It issued penalties of $100 for each violation under existing labor law. NVIDIA has surpassed Microsoft to become the world's most valuable company. The chip maker's market capitalization rose $3.34 trillion, surpassing Microsoft's $3.32 trillion. The company, whose graphics processing units are central to powering artificial intelligence models, has seen a rapid rise, crossing $1 trillion for the first time just over a year ago, and $2 trillion nearly four months ago. And now for a look at what we have on 22 News starting at 5. 22 News continues its weather alert as extreme heat continues through the region. We'll have how to keep yourself safe as well as children and pets in these conditions. Plus, the Greenfield Community College Professional Association has voted no confidence in the school's president and provost. And at the State House, we'll have a look at what new laws are going into effect in Massachusetts starting next month. All right, one more check of the traffic right around four o'clock. We're not seeing too much out of the ordinary other than that construction near Westfield on the Mass Pike in on Route 5 near West Springfield and Holyoke, as well as on the Mass Pike near Palmer. Other than that, traffic is flowing smoothly. Let's hope it stays that way. We'll let you know how rain could impact this traffic on the 22 News Storm Team forecast. All right, and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4. You can join us tonight starting at 5 on TV, and you can always get your local news and weather updates anytime on WWLP.com and the 22 News mobile app.